As much as we all love Kenshi, sometimes we need a little more variety in our day-to-day -day gameplay. As we count down the days until Kenshi 2's release, which could be a lot of days, I've curated some games that just might scratch that Kenshi itch, giving many more hours of immersive experiences while we patiently wait for the holy grail of video games. Ultimately, there are no other games like Kenshi, but I think some of these games share enough overlap with Kenshi's gameplay features to make them worth your consideration. I've also tried to avoid typical recommendations like Project Zomboid, Mountain Blade Bannerlord, and Rimworld. These three games always seem to pop up on the lists when I try and search for other Kenshi-like games. So hopefully these titles are new to you and you find interest in at least one of these games. We're starting out with Stranded Alien Dawn. This game shares an almost identical gameplay loop and design to Rimworld, though the graphic fidelity is much more detailed and it offers some twists on the well-loved formula of the original masterpiece. Some of the similarities to Kenshi include base building, base defenses, including turrets, walls, and gates, farming, crafting weapons, armor, and equipment, base raids, and real-time combat with a group of colonist survivors. So lots of similarities here between Kenshi's base building and defense features, although there is one major difference between the two games. Exploration in Stranded Alien Dawn is handled by an off-screen hot air balloon expedition where you have a chance to acquire some materials, equipment, or research. One other key difference is that instead of choosing a randomly generated character and being able to re-roll that character as you do in RimWorld, or creating a character from scratch as you do in Kenshi, you select your starting colonists from a list of pre-made characters. I put this game first on the list because it shares the most gameplay features to Kenshi. If you enjoy Kenshi's building and crafting mechanics, or maybe you really love RimWorld, Survival Alien Dawn might offer you a new flavor of survival, crafting, building, and combat. War Tales is a newer indie title released in early access and recently dropped its official 1.0 release. It seems to be very polished, stable, and it has a gorgeous design and user interface. In terms of combat, it's quite a bit different than Kenshi because it is top-down and turn-based like many CRPGs. However, there are quite a few similarities to Kenshi, such as a light survival mechanic with hunger and needing to feed your squad, needing to have your squad rest and recover, and also being able to hire new squad mates from bars and taverns around towns after inspecting their stats. And although the overworld and map exploration is more similar to Bannerlord, you could even call it an open world sandbox RPG because you are free to roam the entire map. There's not a strong story or main quest you have to stick to, so you're free to explore all over the place, taking mercenary contracts from various towns and making lots and lots of gold. One of my favorite parts about War Tales is the crafting of weapons and armor. Similar to Kenshi, there are various grades of weapons and armor, and the more skilled you are at making them, the better they are. One of the cool things, but also slightly frustrating, mini games involved in crafting weapons and armor involves you hitting plates at the right time to create the best possible piece of equipment. If you mess up the timing in the mini game, you can either keep the substandard piece of gear, or you can reload and try it again, like I did over and over and over. But it can be very satisfying when you get the perfect timing and you get the higher level piece of equipment that's very effective in combat. The main reason I put War Tales on my list is because it's very immersive, as is Kenshi. And even though the two games only share a handful of gameplay elements, I believe War Tales makes a great companion game to Kenshi. The last game on my list is called Wasteland 3, and it is in the third spot because it is the least like Kenshi. However, I did add it to my list because it is such a great game, and it deserves to be considered by Kenshi fans, mostly because of its deep combat system, crafting of weapons and armor, and extremely effective player choice and consequence RPG mechanics. It also takes place in a wasteland environment, post-apocalyptic setting, and you can hire rangers, or what you could call squad mates, to help you fight in battle. Its turn-based combat is excellent, offering a mixture of ranged and melee with a healthy dose of post-apocalyptic flavored weapons with lots of adapted wacky and unexpected contraptions of death. The Frozen Ferret Missile Launcher is a good example. Also keep in mind this is a very loose comparison, but you do get a home base that is in a fixed location where you can hire other people to help you run it with various jobs, kind of like you would do in Kenshi, but with far less flexibility. 
Honestly, I snuck this game in here, not because it is the most like Kenshi, as I said before, it is probably the least like Kenshi. However, it is probably the best game on this list in terms of player agency, RPG mechanics and player choice and consequences, and strong combat, satisfying character development, and excellent story. It's also made by In Exile, which is one of the few developers I really respect, especially considering some of their developers made the original Fallout games, which ironically are closer to Kenshi than this game. And there you have it. These are the games that I found that scratch the Kenshi itch when I'm needing a break from the bleak wasteland. Did you find anything new in this list? Or do you have your own recommendations that you'd like to tell me about in the comments? I try and read all of my comments, so I would love to hear about your recommendations as to what you play when you're taking a break from Kenshi. And lastly, I want to say I'm happy to be back making videos after a much needed break. As always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Take care of yourself and look after each other. I will see you in the next video.